at the end. Uh, so we can, the last video we did the before engine start checklist. Now we're going to do engine start checklist. So engine start checklist. You go engine start. So strobes. So in this aircraft you don't actually have a rotating beacon. So standard practice you wouldn't use strobes on a ramp for fear of blinding passing or blinding you know ground crew or other aircraft or other pilots. So normally you use a rotating beacon, but because we don't have a rotating beacon, we use strobes. So this tells other people to stay away from us, starting engines. So you go strobes are on. Next thing is to check um, all circuit breakers. So here's your circuit breaker panel. So in this case, you can see here for a safety precaution, you have your start left hand, start right hand out. So you can see here when the circuit breaker is popped, you got a little white indication. So you have to press them in, make sure everything else is, is in. So then once you've done that, you need to go to your overhead panel. So in the overhead panel, you've got your ignitions. So you always start the right engine first on the P2006. So also for the Airbus, you start with everything. Uh, or yeah, the other aircraft we fly the Airbus, you also start on the, uh, the ignitions, only messing. Um, so you go ignitions on, uh, then you go right, ha right hand fuel pump on. So good practice is to always say, so right hand ignitions boat on, right hand fuel pump on. Uh, so then you go prop uh, clear. So here's your starter. He's got a little safety guard on it. So when you start the engine, it's two, uh, a few things you need to do. So first of all, you check that the uh, propeller area is clear. So you want to make sure that there's nobody around it. Then you want to give a good shout. So clear prop. Use the little window over here. Yeah, you can use this window here just to to, to, to shout out. And then you want to hit the starter button. So once you press the starter button, the engine starter will engage and it will start to turn over. When you're doing that, you want to have your hand on the throttle, always have your hand on the throttle during start, and you want to be watching, watching the oil pressure. So you want to, within three to four seconds, you'll see the oil pressure jump up, maybe less, um, and you want to make sure that you get oil pressure. If not, it's uh, you, want, you want to um, uh, stop the uh, start process. And then next, so you got your engine start, um, it'll take a few seconds to engage fully and then once you've done that you want to adjust your choke so in this scenario you had your choke up so as you bring your choke up the fuel is reduced into the engine so you'll see a drop in rpm so you want to keep that stable and as you do that simultaneously close your choke while just bringing up your throttle a little to make sure that you get uh, a thousand rpm um, so then once you've done that uh, the next is you select your field so your field is here so you want to switch that to on and then back up here fuel pump it goes to off and then you want to make sure that you get a stable pressure approximately four psi you will see a drop off and then two to three seconds later it'll come back it'll um come back up to four psi as the uh, engine driven fuel pump uh, catches up so basically so that's your right engine started it's exactly the same thing but just the left so we can do it fast so you go you go engine ignition boat on this is the right one. Yeah, so you go the left engine ignition boat on, left fuel pump on, better clear, oil pressure check, check on side, shout, shout. You can say right clear and left clear. So then you go, you ignition, oil pressure is checked, propellers, or sorry, your, your throttle is held to idle, and then as you increase your choke, you're advancing your throttle to get to 1000 RPM. So that's done. So then your ESB volt, you want to check that your ESB volt light is out, which is down here. Hidden ESB volt light. If it's not illuminating, it's okay. Yeah, exactly. Some other, uh, the older ones, they have it here on the, the door. Next, somewhere here it's... And then you go strobes off. So. Okay, so then you go for engine start checklist complete. And we are done with this. So see you in the next one. Yeah.